question is, can drugs be used as a vehicle to enlightenment? I don't think there is much doubt about it for you and me, for many of us, that at least psychedelic chemicals, not all drugs, but psychedelic chemicals, have a capacity to cut through places where you are attached and clinging, to set them aside and show you a possibility. The problem is that they don't allow you to become the possibility, they only show you the possibility. And then after a few hours, you lose the view of the possibility and you have it only as a memory. I made a very genuine effort in five years of drug taking to use that as my full upaya or way, and it didn't work because I just kept going up and coming down. And Maharaji, my guru, when he took LSD, he asked me for that medicine, that yogi medicine I used, and he swallowed a huge amount that would have freaked anybody in this room. <laughs> and nothing happened to him at all. And then he said, well, these are known about these chemicals. and It will allow you to come in and have a visit with Christ, but you can only stay two hours and you've got to leave. He said it would be better to become Christ than to visit Christ. But this medicine won't do that for you because it's not the true samadhi. He said love is a much stronger medicine than this. Love is that flow with the mother. That's the thing that brings you to the father. But he said, it's good to visit a saint. It's nice to visit a Christ. And I would be a hypocrite if I knocked drugs. At the same moment, let me point out that it is not a full pie. And once you know the possibility, you might as well get on with it. Getting on with it means cleaning out the places that you have the attachments, not overriding them. And what chemicals do is they override them. They leave them there, they just push them aside for a moment. And finally, you get so greedy to be done that you just start to want to deal with your shit rather than pushing it under the rug all the time. No matter how bad it smells, you just want to get on with it and deal with stuff. And at that point, you start to uh, not try to get high, but work with your lows. And then drugs lose their savor or their pull. Now, there is another subtle effect of drugs that I noticed in some of the work I was doing this year that my astral and physical teachers pointed out that there were definite psychic effects of the repeated ingestions of drugs I had used in my medulla, in this part of the brain that made my work slower and harder for me at the advanced level. It didn't ruin my chances. It wasn't in any way damaged in that sense. But it just built up a kind of a toxicity in my medulla, a psychic, not physical, psychic toxicity, that made that work more difficult. So that my inclination is to say that for some people, they could be useful but I don't believe that for anybody that's able to sit in this room and know what I'm talking about, they are any longer necessary. I think that's a straight statement. Okay. And the problem is that when you're using something that is illegal, even though it's, it's wrongly illegalized, you're paying with a certain kind of paranoia that keeps cutting you off from other human beings. And that's very subtle, but it costs something. Because it was five years after I stopped smuggling before I could go through a border without freaking. <laughs> and I could imagine that a border guard could actually be a human being, an immigration 